Yeah! Get it, girl! <laughs> Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I want to let you know that you can grab yourself an official yummy hat, link is in the description and we ship worldwide. Welcome back to the next part of the royal baby. In the last episode we were dropped with a bombshell decision. Do we believe Felix or do we believe Queen Anastasia about what happened with Malcolm? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Did Felix do it? He was jealous. I guess we're gonna have to make that decision. You have to choose, Yami. Are you going to believe me or them? Felix, I'm sorry, but I don't know who to believe. I thought for certain that you'd believe me, but it seems you're just like the rest of them. Oh no, I don't know. I said I don't know, I'm not choosing. I genuinely just don't know. Ooh. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, Sebastian. Yami, are you alright? Depends. Are you asking about the fact that the father of my child doesn't want to be with me? Or the fact that the man who does might actually be a homicidal maniac? Getting to know this family isn't easy. It's a nightmare, Sebastian. I should have been excited to have our baby. But between the manipulation and the lies, you guys are crazier than the last season of Pretty Little Liars. I admit I lied too, but only when I said I didn't love you and I'm sorry. We love him, we're gonna accept his apology. Of course I want to believe you, Sebastian. I care about you so much. Thank you, Yami. But whatever this lie is, I need to know about it. It was Felix. He threatened to expose a secret that would destroy the monarchy in one fell swoop. Unless... Unless you said you didn't love me? Of course, now that makes sense. He wants you for himself. But keeping up this facade has been killing me. I love you, Yami. I can't believe I thought I could trust Felix. That I thought I could maybe even... I mean, I really believed he was a good guy. Me too. Sure, we didn't get along all the time. But he knew I've been blaming myself for Malcolm's death. That was hell for me. Well, it sounds like he might get what he deserves. I don't even care about any of that now. You're all that matters to me. You and the baby. Sebastian! No, Yami, I mean it. Knowing that I'm not responsible for Malcolm's death has freed me. What are you saying? Someone can take my place as leader of Basilia. But no one will ever be able to replace you in my heart. I need to know that you mean this, Sebastian. I can't take another turnaround. I'll tell Natalie tonight. Anything to regain your trust. What about Queen Anastasia? She'll disown you. Then we'll leave this place. Return to America. That would be amazing. Oh, mmm, yeah. Get it, girl. <laughs> I'll find you in your room as soon as it's done. Yes. Victory. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, oh, okay. Let's, let's be defensive. Felix, I kind of thought you would have left town by now. Seeing as you're probably going to be arrested. I understand why you'd have difficulty in trusting my innocence. After you told Sebastian to dump me so you could be with me instead? Yeah, I get it. And it blows, Felix. I did that to protect you. Yes, I want to be with you. But Sebastian will never give up on the moniker for you and your baby. You're wrong. He already has. We're leaving here tonight. And if you actually care about me at all, you'll let me go. I do care, Yami, which is why I can't let you believe my stepmother's ridiculous claims. It's too late, Felix. Please, just hear me out. You're the only person I've ever met in this lousy kingdom who's ever believed in me. I did want to. Then no, I could never hurt someone I love. And I loved my brother, just as I truly love you. The worst thing of all would be to know that the wretched queen's lie made you stop believing in me. Felix, I don't know what to think anymore. At this point, nothing seems real. My love is. Search for your feelings and you'll know it to be true. Please, just talk this through with me. You need to understand that the reporter and Anastasia aren't to be trusted. Their goal is to defend the monarchy, even if that means making a scapegoat out of me. Hear me out. Listen to my truth, not the factless gossip of a bored monarch and the bottom-feeding reporters that run this country. I need to know more. Even if Sebastian and I are going to be together, I just can't let Felix go to jail for something he didn't do. Don't trust the fake news and discover Felix's truth or let the Queen gossip. No, we're gonna trust Felix. Alright, what else do you want me to know? Firstly, that I would never do anything to betray your trust. I act only with the best interest at heart. And if I had done this horrible thing, I would know I wouldn't deserve your trust or affections. I feel as though I could tell you anything. Aww. And the truth is that I loved Malcolm more than anything. 
He protected me, stood up to me when no one else would. To have anyone believe that I could harm him breaks my heart. You must know that those are baseless accusations. I swear on my mother's grave that I had no part in Malcolm's death. Wow, Felix, that was really sincere. I just wish there was a way to clear your name and stop this he said, she said business. Seek whatever information you must, but please believe me now. I do. Whatever happens, even though I'm leaving here tonight, I want you to know how much I care about you. I just want you to be happy. Oh, he's sweet. I need to find that reporter. Oh, where are we now? <coughs> what do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing, girly. You're with the gossip rag, the intruder, right? After this bombshell goes to print, I won't be for much longer. The times will be groveling at my feet. What exactly do you know about Prince Malcolm's death that the rest of us don't? Confidential info, miss. You can read the story when it hits the net like everybody else. Tell me what you know right now or I'm calling security. Wait a minute. You're that American shacking up with Prince Felix, aren't you? Deny it. Let's deny it. See? You're not a reporter at all. You're just a gossip monger, because that's totally not true. Tell that to Princess Natalie, she told the whole world. Why are you telling people that Felix is a murderer? It's not personal, miss, it's just journalism. What proof do you have against Felix? At this point, zilch, but I have a source. Right, I'm sure they're very reputable. Damn right, they're reputable. Believe it or not, girly, there's a mole in your picture-perfect royal family. Are you serious? Would I be here if I wasn't? Well, who is it? I'm bound to secrecy, but I will tell you this. Watch your back. Because there's a danger around every corner in this place. Oh, who is it? A royal mole? I wonder who it could be. Where are you off to in such a hurry, Yami? Queen Anastasia, I'm... Rumour has it you're preparing to flee Basilia, accompanied by my youngest son, no less. You and I both know that that would be a grave mistake, don't we? Emphasis on grave. With all due respect, Queen, how exactly is keeping a family together a mistake? It's certainly a misstep when it results in another family being torn apart. Especially when said family is more powerful than you could ever comprehend. Is that another threat? It's not a threat. It's a fact. The fate of two nations rests on my family staying together. Thousands of lives are at stake. So, there's a wrench in your plan. Figure it out. That's your job, isn't it? Yami, it's much more complicated than you think. I wouldn't expect a selfish American such as yourself to understand. Let's be civil. People hate it when you're nice to them. You're not going to bait me, Anastasia. Queen Anastasia! Fine, Queen Anastasia. I'm not gonna change my mind about this. Yami, our two countries are on the verge of total crumble. If Sebastian leaves for America, there's no hope for either of them. If this is all just political, why doesn't Natalie marry a prince from another country? I'm sure she'd still help Basilia out, right Natalie? We don't have time for that kind of trial and error, I'm afraid. How much money would you really need to run this country? I mean, I could barely find it on a map. Yummy! Natalie is very ill. Doctors say she has two more years at very most. She and Sebastian must be married and have a child before she passes. Without an heir to unite Basilia with Cordova, our countries won't last five years. Great story, Anastasia. Very Grey's Anatomy. I beg your pardon. Lying about a terminal illness? That's low, even for you. She's not lying, Yami. I need Sebastian here with me. I need to keep my kingdom. I don't want to die in vain. I thought you of all people would understand. Does Sebastian know about this? I can't bring myself to tell him just yet. Please, Yami, don't let him leave Basilia. Help me to save our futures. Sebastian! Sebastian! He's not here. I don't know what to do. Poor Natalie. I don't want to see thousands of families pulled apart just to save mine. No matter how much I love Sebastian, maybe this was all a mistake. Ah. Huh. Beep, 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 beep. Sebastian, I had to go alone. I can't explain, but please don't follow me. Oh. Wait, the door just slammed and I heard it lock. Oh no, it's a fire. There's no way out. Oh no, we're gonna die. No, we fell on the floor. <laughs> that was dramatic to be continued. Oh my goodness, we're caught in a fire. What is gonna happen next? Are we gonna die? Are we gonna lose the baby? I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait for the next part of the royal baby. If you made it this far in the video, write the word fire down in the comment section. It helps me know that you watched it. 
and it makes me happy. Anyway guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next part.